Hey, what's going on guys? So we all know that Florida has its share of invasive species and of those species, there's a couple of chameleon species that are invasive here. One is the panther chameleon, the other is the veiled chameleon. So tonight I'm in central Florida and there is a population of veiled chameleons that's pretty close to this place and we're gonna go out and try to find them. I am with Sam over here, I am with Carlos tonight, and I am with Mr. Sean Heflick, and if you're wondering where you know Sean Heflick from, he is one of the Python Hunters. What show, what channel was that on? That was on Comedy Central, wasn't it? It was. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nat Geo Wild. Yeah, Nat Geo Wild. All right. So guys, we're going to load up the vehicle. We are going to drive about, I don't know, 20 minutes from here, and we are going to see how many veiled chameleons we can find tonight. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey guys, come here, this leaf looks just like a chameleon. There's the first chameleon of the night. And it's a little juvenile. It's not quite an adult, but that is the first chameleon of the night. All right, Junior, come on, you're coming with me. Hey, little buddy. Come on. Nice. The first chameleon of the night, hidden among the foliage. Well camouflaged against predators that seek speed. Why am I doing voiceovers for this? You're doing <laughs> you're doing a good job up there, Sean. Keep going. Uh, that steak and shake. <laughs> Gives me that deep announcer voice. I'm telling you what. All right. What a cool little dude. So it is unseasonably cold in Florida right now. It's probably down into the 50s right now. It's supposed to get down into the mid 40s, which is just crazy for this time of year in Florida. Sam is dressed like it's January in Minnesota. Yep. You're dressed like it's November in Minnesota. <laughs> You're dressed like it's October in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm out here loving life. <laughs> All right, you're coming with us, buddy. Where are we putting them? So we are going to relocate these guys out of this area for a couple of reasons. One, they're invasive, and we're going to try to get as many as we can out of here. Two, you can't see it because it's night, but they have bulldozed this entire area in here. They're going to build more houses, so this place, this place isn't going to be around much longer. So we want to get as many chameleons out of here, not only because they're invasive, but because, well, they're about to lose their habitat here. Here's one. Oh, look at that! Number two of the night. Pretty. Yeah. Beginner's luck, beginner's luck. <laughs> so, Sean, you just like were right here and you walked past this one. I'm looking for the big boy. Oh, I see. I'm looking for the grand pappy. All right, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. <laughs> All right, come here, little dude. Time to get you into a new home. Oh, look at that. He's getting all aggro. Hey, 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 where are you going? There, there's nothing off that side. So, veiled chameleons obviously are not native to Florida. They're native to Saudi Arabia and Yemen in the Arabian Peninsula. And it's a pretty dry area there, but these guys are found along the coast where it's more humid, more tropical. This is just a juvenile but man, he is so cold, he is having trouble gripping to my fingers here. But if you ever wondered why there are so many... <laughs> I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> That's your job. All right, as I was saying. <coughs> oh, man. Bugs taste awful, I don't know how you can eat those things. But as I was saying, why are there so many veiled chameleons in a small area like this? We're hunting in an area that's no bigger than a city block. Well, it has to do with their reproductive cycle. These veiled chameleons can be sexually mature between four and five months, and females can lay up to 85 eggs, and they can do that several times a year. And because here in Florida, these guys don't have really any natural predators, 
it's a pretty sheer bet that of those 85 babies, a lot of them, much more than in their natural range, are gonna make it to adulthood and start that breeding process all over again. And that is why there are so many veiled chameleons where they're found here in Florida. But these chameleons don't just eat insects, they are also known to eat plants, and probably one of the reasons why they eat plants is because in their natural habitat in Saudi Arabia, there is not a lot of fresh water to drink, and therefore, they get their hydration by eating plant matter. So, like all the other chameleons, we're gonna bag this guy up and find a permanent home for him that is not out here in the wild in Florida. All right, Sean just called out that he has one down here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a bigger one. There we go. Nice. Man, look at the colors on this one. And look at that lateral line right there. It's not quite a big adult, but it's a bigger one. So nice. Very nice. And that's the beauty of finding chameleons is that they really glow in the dark under our lights and they're really easy to spot, but even so, we're walking by 50 of them for every one that we see. <laughs> so we're finding most of the chameleons on this plant right here, which is ironic because this is a pepper plant which is also invasive to Florida. So we're finding invasive chameleons on invasive plants here. And this pepper plant has taken over Florida. It's in the Everglades, it's choking out the Everglades. Everybody blames reptiles for being the most damaging invasive species down here. They are not. Oh! Oh man, we got two in a row over here. Oh yeah, there he is, I got him. All right, come here, buddy. Come here, little buddy. Come here. That's another little juvenile. I think this is what we're mainly gonna find tonight because we haven't yet been able to figure out what these adults are doing in this cold weather. And Sean, do you think they're further up? Because I wouldn't think that they would be, any chameleons would be further up in the trees because of the wind. Well, I can tell you this, males you usually find way up, way up. Adult females tend to see them like mid-level and then your juvies hang low. But even in this but tonight, weird cold weather? I bet they all push down a little bit at least. That's what I was thinking, you know? yeah. So this pole that Sean has right there is for when we do find the ones that are way up in the trees, we can uh, try to get them down without hurting them by just having them crawl on the tip of that pole and bringing them down. That is a chameleon hunter's secret isn't it that's right yeah so in a previous life you were a python hunter today you are a chameleon hunter, I am a chameleon hunter. I'm what do we awesome. got here oh he's way up there let's see let's see we may need to demonstrate uh -oh. your stick handling skills with this uh -oh. one let's see what we got. he is way up Ooh. there all he's, right he's a little one so this is exactly made for him so let's see how that works. The croc whisperer and the chameleon tickler. Let go, let go. <laughs> Come a nice here. performance <laughs> Come from the here. high flying chameleon. <laughs> oh, look at him getting all aggro. There we go, and that's how we do that. That was some that was some good stick work I there, try. I gotta say. Well, you know, I've had practice. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Alright, what are we up to? Six? Six. I lost count. Six. Six, yep. Six with the sticks. Alright. This there is You know what that is? That's a chameleon. No, that's the one that's what I saw before. Where's our X? Right there. Oh yeah, Mark's Yeah. Oh, ah, so wait a minute though. Does this count as a dual catch? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is mine and Sean's. Come here, buddy. Whoa! It's oh, pretty. did you see that catch? It's pretty. So this guy would have never fallen off my hand if it was warmer. These guys are so yeah, cold, they're literally falling off of trees, falling off my hands. They can't grip onto anything. Poor dudes. Well, we're getting you out of here, buddy. He's gonna get a cozy ride. He, he's gonna get a cozy ride in a nice warm enclosure. There you go. Number seven. 
What do, what do veiled chameleons sell for nowadays? I don't even know. In Florida? Yeah. Cheap. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's say a Tinley. What would a veiled chameleon go for? Um, man, the adult several hundred dollars. Um, really? Yeah, a big big male. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got apprehended by the sheriff's department. That was actually pretty funny. They were asking us what we were doing out here, and we were honest. We told them that we were looking for invasive chameleons. We showed them inside the bag, and the one officer said, that is the craziest thing that I have ever seen, and he's been a cop for however long, he said. It is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Oh, I almost walked right into this pole as I was filming that. <laughs> like two more steps, and that would have made the blooper reel. But, you know, honestly, thinking about this, you know, if you act like you're supposed to be somewhere. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, you always act like you belong. Because if you act like you don't, and you, blah, 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 and you stumble over your words, and then they're like, mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And then poor Carlos would have gone to jail. <laughs> we would have been, you know, back to looking for chameleons. But, yeah, that would have been no good for Carlos. No, uh, we got a Hispanic <laughs> male carrying with a flashlight. Uh, yeah, but uh, the person reported uh, three Caucasians as well. Uh, say again, we had a Hispanic <laughs> male. <laughs> <laughs> Notice I was the last one to walk over. Couldn't have called him Charlie that one time. You had to call him to Carlos. Code name. Oh, too funny. Code name Charlie. Too funny. Yeah, but. <laughs> That was kind of funny because after they left, I'm sure they were like on the radio going, yeah, it's just four geeky virgins running around in the woods chasing after some stupid lizards. <laughs> All right, so we got another one over here. What, I, I'm i losing track. 15? Who found this one? Carlos. Carlos. Yes. Carlos for the win. That's a big, beautiful one too. Nice. Carlos, you are vindicated. Yes. You averted getting deported, and now you have found your this first is, chameleon. This is my good luck right here. That is awesome. So to put it into perspective, how many veiled chameleons are actually here, we have now covered about the equivalent of about a city block. And we have found however many we found, I lost count. But you told it, the reason why we haven't found a ton is because it's so cold out here. But you were telling me that one time out here, how many did you find? 111 in about two hours. 111 chameleons in about two hours in the span of about a city block. Yep, that was uh, in the summertime, so it was all heated up, you know. That year's hatch had been out, even though, strangely enough, only a handful of those 111 were were babies. The rest wow. were sub-adults or, or juvies. So, yeah, it's thick out here. But they're not really doing any damage out here, are they? Well, you know, interestingly enough, um, a study that was done on a population down in South Florida um, in an orchard indicated that they were eating primarily, guess what? Invasive insects. Right, exactly. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, they're living on invasive plants, eating invasive insects. Yep. So the damage that they're doing as an invasive species is minimal. All right, so there's a big male in this tree over here that we can't get to. And so we kind of inspector gadgeted this big long stick. All right, Sean, if you can pull this off, I mean, that guy is like all the way on the other side of this ditch here. You're right under him. Go up a little bit. Jig. Dick oh, that dude is a total chubster. There you go, right under him. You're under him. Dude, that is some serious talent right there. Dude, he's got a kung fu grip on that thing. Dude, he's a monster. There we go, there we go. There we go. 
Look at this beauty. Oh my God. Sean's down for the count. Look at this guy. Whoa. Look at the colors on this guy. That is a huge male veiled. Look at this shark fin on his head. And look at those colors on him. So when it comes to chameleons, the colors on a chameleon is all about communication. And it's also about mood, but it's mainly to communicate with other chameleons. So when this big male sees a female that he likes, his colors will become extremely vibrant to attract that female. But when he sees a rival male, his colors are also going to be really bright. He'll typically brighten his coloring before approaching as a signal of aggression. And to be honest, that's a pretty efficient way of communicating aggression to a rival male. They can use their colors to warn that rival male before any confrontation happens. Therefore, they don't need to expend all that energy in a fight or in a confrontation with a rival male. But like all the other chameleons that we're finding tonight, we're gonna bag this guy up and we are going to find a permanent worthy home for him that is not out here in the wilds of Florida where he really doesn't belong. All right, so there's some crazy guy that lives over here and he's yelling at Sean for being in the ditch, which is in public. No, you don't. You don't. I'm in the ditch, dude. I'll go, but you can just shut up and stop being an asshole. And I'm not going to do like that. Uh, actually, yeah, I can. First Amendment, can you look it up? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Get up. Dude, this, you do not own this dick. All right, but you, you're touching my tree. But, you don't you own, own the tree. Shut the f*** up, get up. What'd you say? Shut the f*** up, Dude, you up. better mind your f***ing business. I know who you think you are, but you ain't that dude. Just so you know, you're being recorded. Shut the f*** up. Just so you know, you're being Shut recorded. Shut the f*** up. Okay. Dude, you don't own this. You don't own this. It's not legal, dude. Yes, it, you know what? We've already talked to the you, sheriff. It, it was We've already talked to the sheriff. You don't know that. Call, call them again or I'm going to call them. Dude, you don't. You want to use my phone to call? If, if, if you're going to be here again, I'm going to. Well, I'm not there again. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Run the along. Hang on a second. I, I got him on camera threatening you with violence for being on public land. I'm not talking with you. Yes, you are now. If I see someone again, The guy's obviously drunk and crazy. Let's just go. You need to mind your business. Yeah. 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 Sure. If I see you guys in my property again, Dude, I'm gonna shoot shut you. Shut up. We are not on your property. Go have another beer. Enjoy, enjoy your, your time in the thing. Whatever, like a pig. Whatever. Why, why, why are you acting like a girl? All right, so we got this. We had some microphone problems. We got this crazy guy over here and he's threatening us with violence. He's threatening to shoot us. We're on public property, right on the side of the road over here. He's threatening to shoot Sean. This guy is absolutely bonkers crazy. All right, and here's the sheriff again. Good. What's going on, guys? How you doing? What are you hunting for? Chameleons. Chameleons? No, you want to see them? Sure, why not? They're actually pretty cool. Oh, they're like actual chameleons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actual, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're yeah. invasive. They're not supposed to be here. I had no idea you could just catch them out of the wild like that. Yep. Yeah. There's That's a crazy. lot of them here. Um, were you guys on the other side of the canal? No, this, I'll, I'll be polite, what I really I, I want to you. say. I got you. Threatening to shoot us. Yeah. And he thinks he owns this ditch. Well, I think he's got a little this going on. He might. Yeah. I mean, it's Saturday at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. So. Well, all right, guys, I'll let you get to it. And all right. Good luck in catching more of them. Now, yeah. let, let me so, ask you a question. What's up? Is it illegal for that guy to threaten to shoot us? If he had a gun in his hand, yes but without having a gun or anything, the way the assault statute works in Florida is that he has to have the ability to commit the crime that he's threatening. Mm. So I could be like, you know, I'm gonna shoot you, but if I don't have any way to shoot you, <laughs> right. there's not a real threat there. He's yeah, just yeah. saying things. 
Well, then he said, I'm going to go get my shit. You know, and they never came back. He's, yeah, so, he called know. us. He said, for some reason, he called us to say something about a plane flying low. And none, none of it made any sense. So we came out here. He's drunk. I told you he was low. drunk. So. We are not aliens. We did not come <laughs> in. <laughs> low flying plane. This isn't uncommon out here, though. Yeah. As long as you, you can't fix people. Yeah, that's yeah. Why, I that's hear why you. my job is very secure. So, yeah, all cool. right, guys. Yeah, we're about oh. done. Yeah, no worries. Do whatever you need. All right, all right. man. All right, guys. Thanks, Have a good one. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, this has been the craziest night herping that I have had in a long, long time. This is insane. All right, so on that note, let's 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 look at our final tally here. We got a bunch. I, I lost count, but look at that. That is a whole bag full of veiled chameleons, and it goes all the way down. Uh, where are you guys going? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on, buddy. So what we're going to do, and then the big male is in that bag, but what we're going to do is we're going to take these back and uh, we're going to gift these to people that we know can give them good, solid, permanent homes and get them out of the wild here in Florida. So that's why we're bagging these guys up. If these were native, we wouldn't be bagging them up. All right, guys, so we are calling it a night. We're walking back to the car. This has been the single craziest night of herping I've ever had between our encounter with the sheriff's department and then a crazy Florida man threatening to shoot us for being on public property. That was insane. But, oh man, never a dull moment when you're out here chameleon hunting in the wilds of Florida. So we're calling it a night crazy crazy reptile adventure so anyway guys thanks for watching and until the next reptile adventure love the planet feed your reptile obsession and rattle on